Hey YouTube users, this is Kevrave7 back with another tutorial. Um, today I'm going to show you how to uh, set up a Cisco router to act as a DHCP server. In addition, I'm going to show you how to set up an actual DHCP server and uh, get it to dish out IP addresses to uh, the guest network which is over here. So uh, I have set up three networks, management, uh, guest, and services. Services holds the DHCP server. Uh, within the uh, guest uh, network, both of these uh, PCs uh, do not have IP addresses. Um, within the management network, uh, PC1 and PC0 have IP addresses. They are statically assigned. And um, it, the IP addresses are 1 and 9. And for this scenario, I want you to imagine that there are um, nine PCs that have static addresses assigned to them. So nine PCs have uh, one through nine assigned to them, if that makes sense to you, which I hope it does. Um, and then there are two uh, laptops that do not have IP addresses, and they would um, they would get an IP address from the Cisco router via DHCP. So let's get started. This is router one. Okay, so whenever you uh, do uh, DHCP on your router, you and, and actually not only on your router, on any kind of DHCP uh, service, uh, you first exclude um, a range of IP addresses that you do not want to dish out to uh, hosts and you don't want that those hosts to use those specific IP addresses because they've those specific IP addresses have already been statically assigned for example 1 through 9 um, in the management network which I was explaining earlier so um, let's start off with that excluding IP addresses so CP and then uh, you would say exclude addresses 192.168.1.1192.168.1.9 uh, so now we we've set a range we say hey exclude all IP addresses from 1 through to 9 don't dish those out then we want to uh, ex exclude um, our default gateway, which is 254. And then we want to create th the pool. And um, the pool name is going to be uh, management. And, oops. I forgot to say pool, pool management, and then the network address of the management network, which is 192.168.1.0, and the subnet mask, and that is over here, and um, the default router. is 192.168.1.254 which we also excluded up over here okay so now um, if you had a domain name server you could put it into um, and um, let's see if it worked actually before we see if it worked let me show you something Um, oh, just end. Okay, so show RP DHCP binding. Okay, so you can see here uh, the DHCP server on this router hasn't issued any RP addresses and it hasn't binded them to any hardware addresses, MAC addresses, with uh, no lease exp um, expiration. But now, we go to this um, laptop and we say, okay, get a get an IP address. You can see it got uh, 192.168.1.10. Let's go back to the router. 
and you can see that the router dished out 192.168.1.10 to the MAC address over here which is this laptop's MAC address so you can see how it binded it to together and uh, there's no lease expiration uh, defined although by default it's one day so let's see if this laptop gets a IP address via DHCP it should it got dot eleven so it works okay now we want to now we've got a guest network and um, we want every guest that comes to the network to um, automatically get a IP address through uh, the DHCP server setup over here let me show you how to do that so first of all um, put in the default gateway of the DHCP server um, once that's done hit just hit the DHCP tab create a pool name guest as for guest network uh, the default gateway of the guest network which is 192.168.5.254 and that's specified right over here with my masters um, the starting IP address is 192.168.5 and then just I'd like to just put the network address in and then just put the subnet mask in 255.255.255.0 and then maximum number of users 254 and then just hit add it's that simple okay if you look over here you can see it's added uh, the guest pool okay now this may come as a surprise to you but it's actually not going to work and I'll show you why it's not going to work so hit DHCP tab on the PC2 which is over here you can see it sends out a DHCP request it gets to R1 and then the pack gets dropped and the reason the pack gets dropped um, is because router 1 which is this router over here doesn't know where the DHCP server is we haven't said hey we need to go over here to uh, you know provide services for your guests uh, PCs and the way we do this uh, the way we tell this router where the DHCP server is by doing this um, so you, you select the interface which connects to the network that you want to help and that interface is FA10 okay and then you say um, RP helper address and then you specify the DHCP server IP address which is 172.168.1.33 okay and then you have to do this to every single router along the way um, until it gets to the DHCP server so along the way next one would be R2 and the interface would be this interface over here SE20 so EN T uh, NSE20 RP helper address 172.168.1. Remember, this is the DHCP server address. And now, um, oh, turn it off. Okay. Now, when we go to simulation mode and we go DHCP. See what happens. There's the pack. There's the packet over there. Capture forward. Capture forward. Gets to R1. What does R1 do? R1 sends it to R2. R2 sends it to the DHCP server. And I guarantee you this works. Let's see. Yep. Got an IP address. 5.1. And let's see if PC4 got a IP address. Requesting. And it got an IP address. Worked perfect. So I hope this tutorial was uh, very helpful. Please uh, rate my uh, tutorial and subscribe. If you have any uh, suggestions, please leave them in the comment box below. And um, thank you again for watching.